Why are you still trying to clean that board? I took me a full day, Joe. A full day to get rid of that blooming airplane. Pen. You can see the outskirts of this airplane. I mean, I had to cancel four lessons to, to spend the day cleaning the board. But it's gone now. Oh, yeah, well, it's gone. Yes. Hey, I like the jumper. Where do you get that? Uh, well, it's close to Christmas. I want to get a festive jumper. So um, I picked up this during the week. It's pretty nice. Where did you, where did you buy it? Um, Lovely. It should say on the back there. Oh, it's it's from Next. Yeah, Next. Yeah, yeah Next. Yeah. It was it was thirty eight pounds. Yeah, fair enough. But Next, um, I like Next clothes. Next are, are a firm that generate a lot of revenue. Uh, they got the Boxing Day sales. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, why do you think about no, buying just, a jumper yourself here? Or? Yeah, I just like the look of it. But uh, you know, you, when you're saying Next there, didn't we read something in the papers about them the other day? Something about their gearing ratio being very high. The gearing ratio. But I, learned, uh, like I'm an honest teacher, but I learned the gearing high, being highly oh, geared oh, is bad. You've I'm touched upon a sore spot because you know, 20 years of teaching is the one ratio I don't understand. You I don't, don't understand it. I try, I just blank it. I, but basically, when it comes to teaching, I get the kids to just look in a textbook. I, I'm just like totally frightened of the gearing ratio. It doesn't mean really? anything to me. It doesn't mean anything at all. Right, well, should we have a crack at it? Yeah, yeah, if you can help me. Right, okay. Um, this concept of gearing is really this idea of what proportion of the capital employed in the business is made up of debt or fueled by debt. Debt being sources of finance that have been raised externally from the business, from banks, etc. And there's this sort of idea that if a business has got too much debt or is too debt burdened, it leaves them in a very vulnerable position. They're at the hands of having to pay back uh, banks and if they're vulnerable to changes in interest rates as well. So. If we, if we just go through it, can you remember the formula? Uh, something about um, non-current liabilities. liabilities. Yeah. yeah. And we'll talk about these just in a moment. Non-current liabilities over capital employed. What do you mean by that? That's a term that keeps coming up in the, in the books. What do we actually mean by the word capital employed? You well, know? your capital employed is basically any large amounts of finance, which is capital that's employed in the business, used by the business, and that's made up of your equity, which comes from your shareholders, and your non-current liabilities, which are money you owe outside the business to external stakeholders that's last usually longer than a year. Oh, like loans, just loans. Like, loans. Like like long-term loans. Long-term, yeah. medium to long-term right, loans right, is right. this. And equity is basically money that you've raised from shareholders. So what we're looking at here is what proportion of that capital employed is made up of this one here, which is the money from banks. And you come out with a percentage figure. And I know that the next gearing ratio was 90, what was it, 90, I think 92% was what I saw. Wow, that sounds quite high. Ridiculously high, I've yeah. been told, because it means that of their capital employed, 92% of it is made up of loans from banks. Right. And we were told that if, you, if you've got a, a gearing figure that's higher than 50%, yeah. the business is said to be highly geared. Okay. And if you're sort of between 25 to 50%, that's considered like a healthy gearing ratio. This is what they say. And then if it's lower than 25%, the business is lowly geared or has low gearing. Is, is there a problem with that though? I mean, you know, if you've got, say, 5% gearing, is there a problem with it? Or? You do come across businesses that are lowly geared, and that can be because they've managed to raise a lot of money through equity finance. But then the argument is, is that if, they, if, they, if they're lowly geared, they're missing out on an opportunity to, to, to lend off banks. If you're a business that's very highly profitable, and you've got high market share, and you're lowly geared, it means that you're probably a little bit cautious and you're not taking advantage, perhaps of low interest rates, which is what we have at the moment in the UK, with the base rate being so low. Um, firms that are highly geared um, puts them in a vulnerable position because if the interest rates were to suddenly rate, uh, go up, which Mark Carney is thinking about doing next year as the governor of the Bank of England, firms that are on variable rate um, loans may suddenly realise an increase oh, in their suffer. repayments yeah. and they could suffer, especially if they've got cash flow difficulties. They'd have a lot more to pay out on interest, I can see that now. And that would then eat into their profits. Well, I'll tell you what, I mean, there's no way I'm going to buy a next jumper because that business won't be, it won't be there next week. So if, if you, you want to, if you, you want a gearing ratio like that. So if no. you wanted to return the jumper because it didn't fit you, yeah. they might suddenly have their shutters down. Yeah. I, I don't expect that to happen. The forecaster next is pretty positive. Yeah, it might be highly geared, but they are highly profitable. So I wouldn't expect that to happen. So I wouldn't put it off you getting the jumper. So what you're saying is if, if you can cope with the loan repayments and, and you're highly profitable, then you can, you can have a high gearing and still be successful. And that's the thing. I wouldn't stick to these rules as a sort of a, 
an absolute must, right. take into consideration other factors that you need to know about the business. So for instance, if you're looking at it in an exam, if they're highly geared but they're highly profitable, then that's a nice evaluative statement you can make, how it's not really as much of an issue, um, but somewhere between 25-50% is considered to be a fairly, yeah. a fairly healthy gearing, nice proportion of your, of your total capital is made up of loans, but you've also you've issued shared capital as well. So, yeah. so maybe maybe what a student could do, is, as well as look at this, is, is look at liquidity because I am very comfortable with the liquidity ratios and if, if you were to say that a firm has, you know, had strong liquidity and strong profitability, maybe use the ROCE, then you could, you could look at the gearing and say, well, actually if the business is, is healthy enough to cope with repayments, then it can cope with high gearing. Absolutely, and I think as well, if the business is lowly geared, but they're in a fast changing market which is quite innovative and there's a lot of money needed for research and development, you could say that they're actually missing out on an opportunity there and they could end up falling behind competitors. You know, I, I think this ratio is going to be my new favourite. I mean, it's, I used to hate it. It's, all about, it's all about the gearing. It. I mean, gearing, gearing is, a, is a ratio that students don't feel comfortable with. Wow. But oh, I feel right. comfortable not only in my jumper, but I feel comfortable in explaining this as well. Yeah, oh, superb. Are you okay though? I, I, I think it's going to be great. I, you know, I'll can, tell you can what. I, can I borrow that? That's a, non -per can I, that's a non permanent market. But do you want my jumper though? Can, can I borrow that? Because I'll, tell you uh, what. I'll give you this. I'm teaching down in D5 and it's absolutely freezing. It's freezing. Now I'm going double denim here, which is a controversial Ooh, look, okay. but it is the last day of term. So there you are. You have that jumper. See how, yeah. see how that fits your size. That's great. Remember, it's from Next. Oh, They're highly geared. Don't let that bother you. Yeah, it's lovely. You're good to go, are you? I'm getting down to D5, and I'm going to teach that gearing ratio. I'm going to get a brew on, and I'll bring a brew down for you. Brilliant. Sounds good. All right. Look at two sugars. Okay. Yeah.